Bloomies are forever. Hi, Melissa. Hi. <laughs> Melissa, what did you do with your day? I opened shoes. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa and I have tried Thread Up Reject boxes a couple times now. I've tried a coach, two coach boxes and a clothing box, which I think I had 50 pieces of clothing. So today I have a shoe haul. These are the reject boxes. I'll put the exact title down the screen and I'll actually show a screenshot at the end of this so you can see how to order your own not affiliated with thread up and i do use them from time to time to send my unsold ebay items if i'm going to donate them anyway i'll send them to thread up and make a little bit of money the company is not my favorite company but i have four large boxes of shoes one box got delivered last week and i was like how in the world did they fit 50 pairs of shoes that's how many i ordered 50 pairs of shoes I am not a shoe seller. <laughs> I just can't get my hands on shoes to sell them. At the bins, they go really fast. We have a very large population of people sending things out of the country to a, another country that there's no shoe factories, so I've been told. So they send a lot of shoes out of the country. So at the bins, it's crazy. I just stay away from shoes usually, and my regular Goodwill marks them up so high. So I'll show you one of the boxes and we'll get on with this. So I have four of these boxes. So each pair of shoes cost $5, which is cheaper than my regular Goodwill, even for Walmart shoes. Box of this. And I think all of the shoes are wrapped in their paper. I'm impressed by that. Every single pair so far it looks like in this box is wrapped with its own paper. Okay, let's pull out our first pair. These are made in Maine, USA size seven. Soak, S-O-A-K. They're a rubbery pool shoe, but to be made in Maine, I don't know this brand, but they're in decent condition. They look used, but not exceptionally so. Okay. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know the brand. These could bring 15, 20 bucks. These could bring more. I have no idea. Next pair, Exhilaration, which is a Target brand. These are a stacked wedge stiletto in black. They look like they have some pet hair, which will be easy to get off, just a little lint roller. And they do have some marks. It's like a faux suede. Yeah, these aren't in great shape. The insides look really clean though. And the sole has some wear, but nothing crazy. I don't know that I, I definitely wouldn't have paid $5 for them, but I might be able to make my money back. Shipping shoes, I usually either do a padded flat rate mailer, which is $6.50. These are gorgeous. Um, or a box. And shipping for a box could be, oh, maybe the zipper doesn't work. Could be $10 across the country. The zipper works. The third pair looks to be really nice. They have black croco embossed. I can't tell if this is leather or real leather. So it might depend on how high end this brand name is. And let's see if I can get in there. It's Enzo something with an A. I'll write it on the screen, but these are the six and a half love the zipper up the back the zipper pulls both have this like dagger gunmetal daggery thing happen which is very fun peep toe yeah very nice the condition is great on the top half and the bottoms have some wear obviously so i'll give those a little bit of a wipe off but i might be able to list these 
Again, not knowing anything about this brand. Maybe for $20, $30, I don't know. Okay, three pairs down. Next pair, Calvin Klein. These are a shiny nude color, a very light tan. They're looking pink in the camera, but they're definitely tan. Slight wear to the bottoms. Not bad though. They're very cushiony. They have a wedge and a peep toe. They're a very classic shoe. I think I'll be able to get this wiped off. It's, see that? That might come clean. Just a little bit of magic eraser or polish. There are some other indentation marks. Let's see if I can find one. And those I won't be able to do anything about. So this is Calvin Klein. They probably retailed for in the $100 range, but I might be able to get $15 out of them, I think. I now have lots of tissue paper though. <laughs> okay, next we have Express. And the Express has the two diamonds underneath the name, so I'm assuming that means Express Factory. These are beautiful for fall. Beautiful for fall. They're not as red as they're coming off on the camera. They're definitely more of a dark burgundy maroon color. Zip on the side. These are a faux suede. Stacked heel. Excellent condition. This really might have been tried on. I don't think these saw outside wear at all. Yeah, these might be new. What size are you? Size 10. Oh, I like the, they're a bigger size. These are beautiful. I might be able to get 15, $20 for this. Next shoe is Penny Loves Kenny. I do not know that name. It does look like this is real leather trim. Let's do that, okay. So, somewhere. Not a lot. Let's see what size they are. Maybe I will. Is there any way to see what size these are? Oh dear. Maybe that's why ThreadUp got rid of them because I don't see that you could see the size. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Unless these fit me, I'm not gonna be able to feel a size. Oh yeah, these are way too tiny. <laughs> these have gotta be like a six or a seven, I would think. These are tiny, tiny. Huh, well. The best thing I could do, I guess, is to measure the inside of the footbed and then put that in the title. Like, let's say it's nine and three quarters, and I'll just put that they have no size listed, but they do list, they do measure consistent with the size six or something like that. It's a shame because they're cute. These are nice. Nike, these look brand new. Comfort bed, what size are you? Women's seven. Yeah, these look fantastic. I don't know why they didn't keep these because these, these look brand new. None of the shoes have smelled. Huh, even if I only get 10 or $15, I'm thrilled with these. That's a little bit more in my comfort zone as I wear sandals. <laughs> Almost all day, every day. Okay, we have Jessica Simpson, and these are size 5.5, so these are a tiny shoe. They have a little bit of a cage on the top, the style here, and gold hardware. Very big wedge. Definitely more of a sandal style than a peep toe. I was wondering if there was a, like a, any numbers past 
past the size where I could put it into a website and see, but I don't know the style of those. I'll have to look it up. They seem to be in good condition though. And nothing says whether it's real or fake leather. Honestly, it really feels like real leather, but it doesn't say it, so I won't advertise that as, as real le leather, okay? The last pair in here is in a box. These are diesel. Oh, these are definitely diesel, definitely used. Running shoes at leisure shoes. Let's see what size are you? This looks tiny too. You are size six. And it has a whole bunch of numbers, leather uppers. Cute. Just a cute little driving or running around in shoe. The condition, they're not bad. It's just the gray in the back is a little bit more grayer than it should be probably. I very much like that you can use this elastic with Velcro to go across here so you can tighten them up. That way there's no laces. Since it has the box, who knows what it'll bring. Does it say what it originally was? It doesn't. That's really nice. These were the Explore White. Okay, so that was the last thing in that box. Let's go back through. Again, I don't know. I haven't looked up shoes. I don't know what shoes really retail for. I might be able to sell these for 15. The Calvin Klein, maybe 10. These Nikes, honestly, if they were my size, I'd probably keep them. But uh, 10 or 15. The Exhilaration Targets are size 7, so they have some damage. Maybe 5. Then we have the Enzos. These are beautiful. I'm really going to have to look these up. These, these feel very well made. Uh, maybe 20. Jessica Simpson black shoes. Again, these feel like leather and they're in really good shape. So maybe 10 to $20. What a good color for autumn. I'll have to get these listed out pretty soon. These aren't my size, are they? No, they're size 10. Um, I'll probably list them for like 15 to $20 plus shipping. We got these Penny Loves Kenny. Penny? Penny Loves Kenny. Um, but there's no size on them, so who knows what those are going to do. And the last pair in this box were the white soap sandals, the leather sandals that were made in Maine. I have no idea. 10 bucks? 15? Who knows? So that was the first box. Let me set this box off to the side and we will go through the next box. The next box feels heavier. What did I do with my scissors? There they are. Again, the packaging is so nice because every single thing is wrapped. So that's nice. Let's open these. These are Dina Bushman. Bookman? Bushman? Poor Dina. Sorry, Dina, I can't pronounce your name. And they are a very flat. This looks like, oh, see what just happened there? That's a no. These are going to have to go in the trash. When something like that starts to to happen, even if you hot glued or bonded this somehow, it's just the integrity has been gone. So these were a fail. Let's see if the other one, the other one's already starting to do it. You can see it. So those are just garbage. Next, Converse. White Converse. They're tiny. What size are you, Converse? 
These are a woman's five. They're white, so they'll be easy to bleach because there's quite a bit of yellow marks, dark marks. You can kind of see one there. There's more on the tongue. Hopefully you can see them. Okay, so there's some marks. So, five, ten dollars, I would think, depending on how clean I can get them. Moving on. Oh, these are so fun! New Balance! Could they be my size? Not that I go walking all that much, but size eight. Oh my goodness, these are adorable. They're used, but barely. Barely, barely. These are beautiful. End cap. Yep. Just make sure everything's still stitched on. I might be able to get 20 bucks for these. Next pair. <laughs> Michael Michael Kors. It's a red croco reptile kind of thing happening. The zipper in the back. Very high heel, peep toe, crisscross applesauce thing. There's no numbers on these. So will I know how, what size this is? Seriously, <laughs> what size are you? Oh, here we go. It is a size, oh, and they are leather, um, rubber outsole, six and a half. So six and a half. And I have the other one, of course. Yeah. This one isn't is as nice, I'm going to say, which is weird. You can see the Michael Kors clearly in that one. And this one has like rubbed off and it looks very dusty in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it is rubbed off. But the outsides look perfect. I don't know. 10, 15 bucks. Ooh, I love these. These are pointy. I used to wear pointy shoes in the mid 2000s, like 2004, 2005. Pointy was all the style. Maybe that's not true. I don't know. I just wore them. So Nine West, they have butterfly wing print. Really pretty. Let's see. The wing. And what size are you? You are six and a half. Great condition. The heel is even wrapped with the cloth and there's no flaws. I have no idea why they didn't keep these. These are beautiful. And I don't see any issues. I don't know what the style will bring just because they're so pointy. I wanted to put it on against like a back, black background, a gray background. <laughs> so pointy. 10, $15, I have no idea. The next pair, oh, these look pretty. Nicole is the brand. These are a size nine wide. <laughs> I might have to keep these. They're ballet flats in a very kind of sparkly shimmer silver with rhinestones. Let's see if they fit. Oh, they're a little big. Ah, oh, they're really a little big. Shoes normally, I don't know if I can get my foot up that high. Shoes normally aren't that big on me. Huh. Maybe once I walked around in them. <laughs> Maybe didn't step on the camera. I don't know, but these are beautiful. Yeah, they look so clean too. It says 15 in a silver marker, so I'm guessing that these were once at like TJ Maxx or Ross's. Oh, they were at Ross. They were $15 at Ross. Hmm. I'm pleased with those. We'll take those. Next package. 
These are cute too. These are Ancline, Ancline Peep Toe. They have a very shimmery kind of, what are we calling that? Croco embossed, but it's not, it's very soft fabric. What size are you, Ancline? You are an 8M, and it looks like they call this the Franny. I like it. These look like they're in really good shape. Yeah, I think I'll easily be able to sell these. I would so much rather sell these than those like super stiletto ones. Okay. These look like sneakers. These look like nice sneakers. These are Nikes. Training Flex TR6, size nine, my size. These are a little dirty. They're quite a bit dirty. Yeah, we're gonna go with quite a bit dirty. That might be easy to wash out though. My husband always does the shoes because he brushes them with a brush. And just because of some of my issues, I can't take hearing a brush. Um, so if I was gonna brush them with a brush, I would have to use my noise canceling headphones. But yeah, these are cute. I don't need a pair of training shoes because I'm not training for anything but they fit. Maybe my shoes, my foot shrunk. Yeah, these are big on me too. How weird is that? Okay, let me put on the other one. Maybe it's easier to get my right foot up. Yeah, these say a nine, but this entire section isn't my toe. I wonder if they're immense. I'll have to look them up. I don't know. Next pair. Ooh, these are beautiful. Massimo, so Target. They are really into this fake croc, whatever reptile print stuff this is. And then there's a piece of shiny gold on the side. These are come on, six and a halves. Excellent condition again. I take that back. The back of one of them has just a few. I don't even think you're going to be able to see it. Little bit that has unraveled. I think if I just put a little bit of glue there, that would fix that up. But past that, they're in great shape. Oh, these are sparkly. Wow. These are rose, rose gold, eight and a half, six and a half, six and a half, Anna. It looks like a nothing brand. Champagne glitter, six and a half. Cool. It's a very trendy shoe wondering how much of the glitter would rub off if you really wanted it to. Not much. These look pretty new. Yeah, these are in great shape. Oh my goodness, I still have two more boxes after this. This is Aldo and these are leather. And they are size six and a half. Should show them to you first. There we go. So that whole top piece is like, is it rhinestones? It's rhinestones. All the rhinestones look to be there, which is amazing. And the rest of the shoe is just like, um, what color are we gonna call that? Champagne sparkle. The bottoms have a little bit of wear. Good. I like those. Next pair. This <laughs> has a Marshall's $40 on the bottom. So it says $40 and the Marshall label is there. These are Guess six and a half. 
These are the Stilettos Sparkle. It's black on the sides, silver and silver with the strap across the toe. These are Peep Toe. These are a very high, this has got to be at least a five and a half, I would think, high um, heel. Excellent condition. These might be new. Nope, little bit of the black on the toe. You know what I'm gonna do with that though? I'll just close it, but I'm gonna use a little black Sharpie to just fill in the, the tiny little mark. pretty. These are the elegant collection, which means it's nobody. These are cheaply made shoes, like a Payless shoe. Size 8, fake leather, vegan leather, brown. These are a closed toe, but they have a bow on them, which is really pretty. And these are quite a chocolate brown. I don't see this brown a lot. And then we have some cut out laser laser cutouts i think they're called perforations these look to be in new condition size eight these are tiny made in italy marvin k so they are three strap style Definitely a wedge, peep toe. This is a very like neutral camel color. Has a little bit of a blue mark right here. Right there. Oh, and these retailed for $398. sold at Nordstrom Rack and it says those were the original price and then I can't see the red sticker it's peeled off so let's try to unpeel the red sticker a little bit these look like they had multiple markdowns come on I'm not going to be able to get it let's hope to find any kind of price that sticker is really sticking These are tiny, five and a half. Can't believe they retail for $400. The savings was something 6%, 86 does it say? Oh, that's not a six, it's three. 85%, okay. So whenever they sold them, they were 85%, but I'm not gonna peel off the sticker any more than that. There's quite a few stickers on there. Yeah, so I have a little bit to clean off with the other shoe. This has like sticky stuff and then things got stuck to the sticky stuff. So I have a few flaws, but not bad. I'll work on those. Nothing thrilling for me, but the price is high. I'm going to have a lot of tissue paper left. These are Stevie's. These have a Gucci thing going on. A little bit of a, a knockoff, but not counterfeit, just knockoff. And they are a velvet, like a real nice velvet. What size are you? You are a size five. Wow, you are tiny. These are tiny, tiny. Oh yeah, that was silly. Okay, so we got two of those. Cute. I think these are a no name, but you still might be able to get $10 or so. Now I have ginormous boots. Two of them in the bottom. Wellies. What brand are you? These are Capelli. Capelli? From the 2004 collection. And size? Six. They're used. 
in shape. Yeah. Like the yellow hardware here. Black and white chevron. It's a good time of year for them. I like them. That was the second box. I should be able to get $15, I would think. And maybe five or $10. Aldo, so maybe $10, $15. The Nike, I have to figure out if these are a men's or a women's. And then maybe $10, $15. And Klein's were pretty and didn't have any issues. So maybe $10, $15. I'm not planning on making a killing, but I'm hoping to at least make my money back and make it worth the time. I like those a lot. I wish these were my size. Maybe $15. Love these sparkly ones. They're not worth too much though, maybe $10. I could probably ship these in a padded flat rate ma mailer because they're over a pound and that would be the cheapest option and that's about $7. So let's say I sell these for $9.99, the person's gonna have to pay an additional $8 in shipping almost. Butterfly shoes. Brown bow shoes. These shoes, which I tried on. The pretty Target ones with the gold hardware on the insides. We lost the shoe. Lost the shoe. Shoe down. Other shoe down. <laughs> Brown shoe. Um, the Marvin K Italy shoes are so tiny. And the last ones from these, this box was Guess. Yeah, that box was definitely better and made me more excited than the first box. Okay, close these up, put them over there, and go for the third box. Third box. And I have been taking breaks in between eating, letting the lawnmowers go past, so I'm sorry about the noise. Okay. That one was very easy to open. Should I still keep holding them up? <laughs> They're so heavy. Okay, right. more tissue paper. Okay, first one, like I said, they all come wrapped like this, which is really nice. This wouldn't help, this dish paper wouldn't help in case this was like left in a wet area, but it looks nice. These are Dulce Vita DV, fake suede boots, size six and a half with some fringe, very trendy, perfect time to get this, these things up. I'm excited about all the boots. Love, love the little fringe, nice job. And these look like they are in, I guess they like a nine out of 10 condition. Maybe even new. It has like one little mark. They might have been used inside maybe. I don't think these really went outside too much. Possibly. Not. Next, <laughs> you'll see one. These are BCBG Generations, so this is the lesser line of BCBG, and these have issues. Okay, so these are a seven and a half white, again, this Croco embossed, but these have been absolutely the worst ones I've seen, other than the pair that fell apart. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of these marks out, but we can try. Give them a magic eraser or yeah, there's a lot of marks. Let's see what the other one looks like. I dropped it, so. Oh. <laughs> That's so weird. One of them has all of the marks. And then one of them doesn't have any marks. Almost whatsoever. 
Weird. So there are those. Next package. Yellow. Oh, Stuart Weissman. Seven and a half. They're leather uppers. A little bit of a wooden platform. Peep toe with a little crisscross design. This little twist. These are adorable. Seven and a half. Can't you imagine these for autumn? They're like a golden color. Definitely not like a butter yellow. I'm realizing it's coming off more butter yellow on camera, but it's, yeah, they're not mustard, but close. These are beautiful. They've definitely been worn. You could see that. And there's a slight mark. I think something will take that out right here, but again, not a big deal. There's some marks to the back. These are nice. I'm gonna say the condition's like a six out of 10. But <laughs> so many shoes. I'm sure my whole career, or at least this last few years of selling again, because I sold in the beginning full time and then I took part time and then I went back to full time. So I've sold maybe 25,000 items um, over my two accounts these last 17 years <laughs> I've been selling on eBay. Okay, so these are Chinese laundry. Good condition, eight and a half. They are a very blush pink. Very soft, I wouldn't call it velvet, like a fake suede, I guess. Peep toe. Little ankle strap. Is this about a three inch chunk? Not chunk. Is this a chunk heel? A, there's another word for that. It's, but they, these are in really good shape. Definitely better than the last one. These are probably a nine out of 10. We like those. Next ones. Oh my goodness. These, these are crazy. These are Carlos Santana. They're a fake bottom. I don't think they're real wood. They're just meant to look like wood. And they're a peep toe. I'm gonna have to shut this off again. It's landscapers. <laughs> okay, landscapers, you win. I'll go eat more of my, my strawberries. I'll be back. Okay, landscapers left. These are beautiful. I love the tops. I'll show them to you in a second. They're a fake black suede, size nine and a half, and soft, which is a pretty decent brand. These are my size. Take off my Uggs here. Is this my right foot? Yeah, here we go. What do we think? This is so not me. I don't wear heels anymore. Okay, so the suede really needs a limp roller. Just has little hairs and schmutz all over it. This must be a wide calf. In my opinion it is. Does it say anything about being wide? No, it says medium. Huh, these are adorable. The little fake buttons. It looks like two were buttoned and two were left. But they're they're stationary. They don't do anything. I like the heel. It's not perfectly pointy and it's not perfectly rounded. The bottoms are in great shape. Where's the other one of those? About the same. Yeah, once I get these delinted, these will be great. A shoe like this. I would just put a lot of bubble wrap right here and then ship it like this. So that way the bubble wrap creates where it won't be able to fold in half rather than putting it a long box. I think that's how we'll do this. We'll see. Let me put my, my Ugg back on <laughs> so I won't have cold feet. Okay. Next one. These are White House Black Market. Pointy. Very classic looking side here. And then it swoops down. 
These are ivory and shades of gray with a little bit of black. This would be cute with a black suit. Size seven and a half. The bottoms have some dirt and they are very pointy. But past the bottoms, the insides have a little bit of dirt, but it looks like superficial dirt. So I should be able to just wipe that off. Yeah. Good. These are, this is a nice name. I don't see this name very much. Alberta Ferretti. I'll write it on the screen. Made in Italy. These are a golden sat, I mean truly a satin. I wonder if they're silk or polyester. Bet you I won't be able to find out. The size is a 35 and a half. So I'm a 40, so I'll count down and just use Google to find the size. They're a T-strap Mary Jean type of thing. I think it's just a T-strap. I'll have to look up the style. Oh, and there's a little button right there. Oh, cute. Oh, and I love the fringe down the front. You can kind of see it right here. I'm not doing a great job here. There's like three pieces where it just sticks out. Little flap. These are adorable. The bottoms have some wear. That seems good on this shoe. The black seems good. Past the bottoms, I would give these maybe like a nine. The insides are, are beautiful. They're a light purple. You can tell they're used, but they have no stains on the satin, which is incredible. I would think if I wore these out, which I would never wear them out, and it rained, this would just be like completely water spot, spotted, water stained. You know what I mean. Okay, next pair. Love these. These are Dr. Scholl's. These are not my size, but these are adorable. What size are you, Dr. Scholl's? Six and a half medium. Great for fall. I'm so glad I did this box. Excellent condition. Very little wear on the, the soles. Yeah, these are in really good condition. Huh. Let's see the other one. Love the laces. The detail is really beautiful on these. Can you see they have like a little bit of a broken inness to them? That's been done by the factory. Beautiful. Love those. Next. Got some straps. Lots of straps. Jessica Simpson again. So it looks like these two straps go around the ankle. And one is a champagne gold and one is a patent pale blue. And the heel is pale blue and the rest of it is that gold fabric. These have some condition issues. Definitely, definitely. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get those out. The first, you can see there's a red mark on the toe. Hopefully you can see that. These shoes are dirty. I will probably just redonate these. That's how kind of dirty they are. I don't think it's worth spending my time maybe an hour or so trying to clean them up and then they're Jessica Simpson. They're not anything special anyway. Okay, so that'll be the second pair that I, I donate. Next pair. Oh, these are so cute. So cute. This is Joy Folly, who I've never heard. It looks like a, a cheaper brand, but the style is adorable. These are a size six, and these are the Natalia shoe in polka dot. It looks more tan in the picture, but they're definitely a, more of an olive green, I'd say maybe. Olive green. And if you hear somebody in the background, that's my husband, he's eating pie. <laughs> I 
peep toe, T-strap, adorable. The condition is excellent, these might be new. Let's see the other one, same thing. Yeah, these are new. How many shoes does Thread Up have to get to sell shoes by the 50? That's amazing, right? These are Alfani, which I've heard that label before, but I don't think it's a, a fantastic name. And these are man-made and a size six and a half. Size six and a half must be a hard size for them to get rid of. Some gold metal hardware. They're olive green as well. And these do have some wear, but not a ton. I'll be able to clean that up, I think. Cute. Another pair of boots. There's something inside these. They stuffed them. That's nice. I'll use that when I sell them. These are Enzo Angloni Lee. That's not how you pronounce it. Um, these are adorable. I love when shoes have this styling where the, the leather and the suede go down the entire way. It's such a unique look. This feels like real suede. Could this be real suede? You could even fold it over. Oh, that's so cute. And that's where we get the issues. Okay. So you can tell right along here, we have some dark marks. I don't know. That's a shame. Those might clean out. We'll see. Here we go. Leather uppers. So these are real leather and suede. They also have a big mark here. Yeah, these are not thrilling me as much. I would have been so excited had these been in better shape, but I realize not all the shoes are going to be in fantastic shape. If you left them rolled up, you would never be able to tell about this top issue. These seem to be in a little bit better shape They've got a little bit of a scuff, but that's not anything. But if you wanted to roll them down, you'd probably even just scrunch them down. <laughs> Let's pretend my arm's a leg. Can you scrunch them down? Yeah, they scrunch okay, but folding them over is going to reveal that. Does anybody have a really good way to clean suede? I'd be able to clean those. We'll see, I'll look them up and see if it's even worth it. Now there's another mark there. This is a mark that's out of the leather. So those might be donated or sold as is. Two more, bo two more in this box and then we've got a whole other box. Oh, love the color. These are INC International Concepts, which is a Macy's band brand, I believe. Rhinestone, very shiny patent flip flop size nine and a half. Let's see if all of, not even rhinestones, they're more like a stud. And gunmetal, the gunmetal stud on the bow. These are in great shape. They look like somebody may have worn them once, but maybe not. Very nice. Oh, they're heavy. Another pair of boots. They smell good. LB. Is that, what is that? Lucky Brand. These are a pair of Lucky Brand boots in a size 10. They're brown. They're a little bit of a darker brown than the camera is showing. They have some issues right here. You can tell that there's some marks along the sole. Guessing these are real suede, so there are highs and lows to the fabric. They seem okay. I would probably wait. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I have um, brown wood stain 
wood stain, that's what it's called. Because I think the soles are supposed to be a little bit darker. Because they're dark up here and then they fade into this. So I will just put the wood stain on and I think I'll be able to cover that no problem. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, the other one has the same thing. These were originally $90 or $60. I don't know. One of those. Yeah, I'm thrilled with these. Okay, so that is the last of that box. We got these. We got these. We got these. Very tickled by this. We got White House Black Market. Chinese Laundry, the pink blush ones. Some very large boots. We got some fringy boots, little booties. Oh. I think these are gonna be redonated. I'm gonna set these off to the side. They're BCBG. Well, I guess I'll try to, to clean them first, but most likely these will be redonated. Love these Stuart Weitzmans. Those remind me of anthropology. Dr. Scholl's booties. We got these, these things. Carl Santana, very strappy shoes. Love these, this gross green kind of ribbon feel to them. Wish I could show you the true color. It's definitely more of like a pea soup olive green. Very pretty. And we have these. And I think from the last box, I forgot to put back in these Dana Buchman, Buchman and the Converse, which definitely need to be cleaned. Okay, last box. Last box. <laughs> I can't believe they wrapped 50 pairs of shoes. These are flip flops. These are Havana's. Havana's. I recognize the um, name. These are in beautiful condition. Size 41 and a half, so that's approximately a 10, 11. They have rhinestones. And there's a little, a little charm on them. The rhinestones all seem to be there. They seem to be new. We'll take those. Yeah, these are in excellent condition. These are brand new. Nobody, nobody wore those. Victoria Sport. I don't think these are Victoria's Secret. I'm gonna guess this is a knockoff of a Victoria's Secret brand because it just says Victoria Sport. And at the top, they all say Victoria Sport. So these are a slide with no size. Great. Oh, they're a size small. So I'll have to look up what other people are listing them for. It has a molded footbed, which is really nice, and some padding, like really soft memory foam on the underside of the, the slide. They look clean. They have a little bit of a darker mark here. so. I'll see what magic eraser can do. Size small, huh? So the next pair of boots is a seven and a half. And these also feel like a cheaper brand. Do they have a zipper? There is no zipper. These are just a pull on. And because of that, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to read the brand. Whoop. 
They are SO. So SO I think is JC Penny. It's a juniors. This has some schmutz, but because of the fabric being so fake suede, I should be able to take that out with a simple washing. Very slouchy. I like them. Condition's not great, but next up, brown boots. These are in really nice shape. Zoe and Zach, size five. So another small boot brand. And these are stuffed. Somebody, somebody stuffed those, which is nice. Very cute. So these are a fake leather. I don't even have to read that, I just know. So vegan leather. Can they be cuffed? No, they cannot. Yeah. We'll sell those. Maybe $10, $15. Did I say the brand? I probably didn't say the brand. Oh, yes, I did. It was Zoe and Zach. Zoe, Zoe. These look cute. Attention. So this is another Sears, I think, brand. Gray booties, fake leather. They have a little bit of mark on the heel. That might come off. It's a little white mark there. Free, some fraying, not bad. Oh, the tongue is a ruffle. So the tongue is very large. What size are you? Attention. These are a size nine. I like the color, they're very mushroomy gray. And then the top part feels like a little bit of a fake suede or almost flannel. Yeah, these are in decent condition. Oh, they still have the barb around them, which doesn't really mean anything, but they could still be new. The bottoms do look like they were walked, maybe like on carpet inside the store or something. Got up uh, 10 pairs left. Melissa, what did you do with your day? I opened shoes. These are Arizona, which is JCPenney, I think. And they're a size seven. Brown and what do I call that a greenish teal. The footbed has all of these little bumps, almost like a bubble wrap would have. Like bump, bump, bump. It's a very nubby somewhere, but overall not bad. Yeah, the print is all still there. I'll be able to clean up the bottoms, no problem. Cute, maybe five, 10 bucks. These are cheap, cheap Marona. So this is Target. So when they sold these, they probably were maybe $9.99 on sale. So brown fake leather braided thong sandal. They're in great shape. I have a foot mannequin. <laughs> I forget what I call that. Um, to just slip in there. So. Hopefully I'll get some good pictures. Shoes are really easy to photograph and list because it's just really one size rather than taking a size of the bust, the waist, the hips. So I'm excited about that. We have some Toms. Tom size, women's size, my size, nine and a half. I'm like a nine, but sometimes I can do a nine and a half. They have a gold metallic woven flex sparkle threading <laughs> through them and the rest of it is brown and tan chevron great shape let's try one on what foot am i better with i think the right one i think the left one yeah these fit me <laughs> I won't wear them because I wear Birkenstocks and they have more support. Tom's I never felt gave me enough support. These are really clean. These might be new. Nice. I'm 
excited about some of this stuff. Oh, these are so cute. Size 39, so it has European sizing. And the brand is, what is that brand? K-H-R-I-O, maybe? Let's see over there. Made in Romania. So what size are these? 39, so it'd be a woman's eight, roughly. They have a lot of purpose, I'm guessing it's purposely, put in browning. Like, I'm guessing this isn't real dirt because it goes too evenly across the bottom of the shoe. And the bottoms are brand new. So you can look like you're on a construction site without having to actually step foot on a construction site. That's what those look like. Oh, oh. This, this is a serious shiny shoe. Shoe Republic LA. Size six and a half. <laughs> look at that chrome heel. It is mirrored. Yep. If you needed to check your lipstick, you could do so in your heel. And then the rest of it, it is throwing all the colors of the rainbow. Okay, so yeah, these are in excellent condition. Not something I would have picked up, but these might go for, oh, these are, I don't think they're real metal, but they're very shiny. They really might bring, might price them at $15, $20. We're running out of places to put shoes. Okay, we have another boot. This is Shoe Dazzle. I think they're like a subscription box, aren't they? They look like they're in great shape. Possibly brand new. Black, I'm gonna guess vegan leather, fake leather. I don't see that it says if they're real leather, so. Upper synthetic. Okay, so they are, and they're the Marty style in a size nine. These are cute too. Not my style, but I can appreciate them. How many more pairs to go? Three more pairs to go. <laughs> Calvin Klein, they have a little bit of dirt on the heel, there we go, a little bit of smudging, and they have, are, does that mean it's from Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack? They're in really good shape. They're very shiny gold. Like a metallic going through there, very much so. And some of it looks like mermaid scales. I'd be curious to see what they call this, but I don't see it anywhere in here. Oh, here it is. The Kindle, and they are a size six. Do you see what I mean with the scales? Like right here. are adorable j crew what size are you size six got a lot of smaller sizes i'm sure j crew yeah i can just look up what this was called what are you calling this like a crochet overlay on a ivory twill canvas base that's what i'm calling that And they have the goring for some stretch. Overall, the uppers look really clean and then there is some dirty parts on the bottom. Nice. Last pair, I feel like flip flops. These are Sanic, Sanuk flip flops. And they have white, I don't know if they use leather or if they're a vegan company too. 
Um, size women's seven. And they have a, a number on them that I should be able to look them up. The backs look pretty new. I'm trying to tell if they're absolutely new or they just have a little bit. See that? Little bit. Somebody walked maybe one time in these, but I won't say that. White uppers with some aqua padding underneath. And those are my last pair. So in this box, we got these, we got the Toms. I'm gonna put the boots on the bottom. I really think this was worth $250. Not all of these shoes are, but there's a good amount of shoes. I was gonna say a good percentage, but I don't know if it is a good percentage of shoes. Like, these might only go for five or ten bucks because they're fake suede. They're nothing great. But some of these, the J. Crew, again, these might be five or ten bucks. Victoria, fake Victoria Secret. Five or ten bucks, Target. These attention ones, five or ten bucks, maybe. Maybe ten bucks. Construction worker boots. I'll have to look up the brand, but maybe these are heavier, so maybe ten to fifteen dollars. And then everything will be plus shipping. Have to look these up as well. The Havana Iana, and they're the slim. But those might bring. I don't know this, but they might bring fifteen twenty dollars. These Arizona ones, five dollars. J. Crew, I already said. The Mermaid Scale Calvin Klein's, truly, they're in such good condition. They might bring fifteen twenty dollars. Ow! <laughs> I dropped that on my toe. Um, Shoe Republic, very shiny ones, might bring ten dollars. Okay, so, and these are definitely being donated. Okay, so here are my ending thoughts. I've set up all the shoes, which you're going to see. I think this is a good deal. <laughs> I know I keep saying that. For $5 a pair, I cannot find shoes around here for $5 a pair in decent condition. Two pairs are going to have to be donated or trashed. One pair is just beyond anything and is going to have to be thrown out. I wouldn't want a thrift store to sell it. It's just completely ruined. And the other one, I think somebody could possibly wear. I just don't think it's gonna be worth it because there's so many marks and how dirty it is. So 48 pairs are in good to new condition. A few pairs were in good condition. And I got a pretty good mix of boots, knee-high boots, ankle booties, booties, heels, flats, sneakers, slides. You'll see that I got a good amount of that. I'm going to say overall the retail value on these shoes is probably somewhere in like the $30 to $40 range. So not too many very high-end shoes where you're getting Gucci and Kate Spade and there's not too much of that. I got some brands that I think are okay and some that will sell quickly like Tom's and I can't even think of some. <laughs> some will need a slight cleaning and others should be good to go. So my husband's going to help me do that another day. <laughs> but here's what everything looks like. And I think you could decide from yourself from here. Thread up charges $250 for 50 shoes shipped. So it's basically free shipping. Um, yeah, you can get other boxes, reject boxes in lesser amounts, and you can even pick sizes with some of the boxes. This one just had a mixed range of shoes. Here are all 50 pairs of shoes. At least I'm assuming there's 50 pairs. I didn't do a final count. I'll probably do that later. You can see the flip-flops the slides, some more flip-flops, some flats. And then we start the heels 
kind of in these two rows. And then we have some athletic running shoes through slides. These two rows are mostly all heels. Then back here we go to the diesel sneakers and start boots. The back row is all boots. And then we have some sparkly ones, some flats, some booties, the J. Crew, and the other booties. $250. Let me know what you think down below. Was this worth it? I'm sure I'll make my money back. And obviously I'm doing this mostly for a video. Shoes aren't my favorite thing to sell, but they do take less time on the listing end. They take more time on the shipping end though, so I guess it evens out. Thank you to all those people who requested this video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.